Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Scorpio friends and friends of Scorpio. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot. And hey, I am Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here and welcome to my table. So um, you guys, I am just going to dive right on into messages here and channeling through meditation. Um, thank you so much for your patience. I meant to have this uploaded earlier, but um, uh, I stopped a cancer yesterday. It was just a very deeply emotional <laughs> reading and I needed some time to recharge. So uh, here I am, you guys. Scorpio, in meditation, what came through was all of these images of locks that were unopened. So they were locked, I guess. Um, I was very much getting this feeling of these locks opening. The, the words that came through following that were, you are about, you are about to bear fruit and then you are about to bear witness. So um, I feel like a little bit of chills on that. I feel like you're about to bear witness to the fruit <laughs> um, that is behind these uh, locks. OK, whatever these locks are symbolizing. So let's get into your tarot message here. Spirit, what do we have for Scorpio? This is the Murder of Crows tarot I'm going to start off with here, you guys. And all messages are timeless here. So please, if you do feel drawn to something, I encourage you to take a look. There is a message in there for you. And thank you as always for your love and support, you guys. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All great ways to support me and the growth of this channel. And I truly appreciate it. Uh, literally would not be possible without you, okay? Uh, death is standing out here at the bottom, which is your card. <laughs> I'm feeling like your higher self is definitely saying, hey, Scorpio, <laughs> right here. Um, I also feel very much like you are going through a, a transition, okay? Moving through these locks, sun here as well. This is your fruit that is about to become fruitful. I do offer personal readings. If you're interested, you can check out the description of this video. My link to my website is in there. I would love to read for you. And feel free to stay tuned till the end. I do have some information on how to win a free reading, okay? So King of Cups here <laughs> at the bottom. This is your hope, what you want right now. I do very much feel um, this idea of a relationship, a connection, emotional connection has been coming through for you for a minute. These uh, past, I don't know, several readings. Um, King of Cups here, though, this is this is mastery over emotions. Um, but what's coming through is like, what I'm feeling is you like you're exploring this realm of what it means to master your emotions. And what you're finding is that it's less about control and more about like um, allowing. And so that's what I'm feeling like you're looking for in this situation is like true control over your emotions because we don't control emotions. Um, that's not really possible. We can choose how we respond to emotions but we don't necessarily control that emotions happen, at least in the immediate <laughs> situation. And sometimes not really at all. A uh, great example would be my cancer reading. <laughs> you can go take a look at that if you want. Okay, let's keep going here. So this is the Deviant Moon Tarot. Spirit, other messages for Scorpio in this period. And uh, it is a general message, my Scorpio friends. So please keep that in mind. You are intelligent, extremely. You are also a powerful co-creator here. Um, so please keep that in mind. Use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you. And if they are not for you, it's totally fine to just drop it like it's hot. Okay. <laughs> uh, check out your rising moon, Venus, North Node, any other major placements in your chart. You are more than your sun sign, and I dare you guys to look. So Nine of Pentacles and Hermit fell out here. I feel very much like there is this um, process going on right now of self-mastery. Like you are, maybe you've actually been alone, but I feel very much that you've been on this journey of going inside, like the Hermit's talking about, and, um, and finding that guiding light inside, and you're finding that guiding light. Like you're finding those locks that need to be unlocked. The fruit that is about to be born the nine of pentacles very much represents that that individual like um, abundance. It is a, a fruitful harvest, you guys. <laughs> Hell yes. Okay. So let's see what other messages we have for you. Yeah. Knight of Cups here at the bottom. So this is your um, your fear aversion. 
Knight of Cups is very much like um, it can be romance. It could be an offer of love. Um, it could be finding like it can be kind of like the search for the Holy Grail. Um, again, finding this like mastery or this control over an experience. Being in the fear of aversion um, and having the King of Cups here, too, in, in what you want. Maybe you are wanting a relationship right now or that mastery over your emotions. And what you're afraid of is like what what that new journey actually means for you, what that actually looks like. There is something unknown beyond this locked door and that may be causing some anxiety, which is totally understandable because you're human. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm getting all the cups for you guys right now. And happy new moon in Pisces. This makes sense. We're, you know, you are an emotional sign too, but uh, we're looking at, at the water. So Queen of Cups comes in here for your first. <laughs> uh, in the general, Queen of Cups is very much about intuition. Um, it's about protecting the emotions too. Finding that balance, okay? Um and that's what, like I said, I feel like you guys are wanting right now is, is um, a perfect protection of your, of your uh, emotions. The King of Cups is about, like I said, it's not about controlling the emotions. It's about controlling the, um, <laughs> the notion of devotion to master the motion of your emotion ocean. So it's the motion. It's not about the emotion itself. You are sitting in this boat as the waves are rocking and your responsibility, the mastery comes from learning how to keep your food down <laughs> and not getting seasick. It's not about controlling the waves themselves. So that's what I feel like is going on here in the general with the, the protection here that the Queen of Cups is talking about. It is um, taking that spiritual Dramamine, not getting seasick as you're navigating these situations. The Queen of Cups is very much um, very similar to High Priestess energy, but the difference there is that she cares a bit more about people. <laughs> so I feel like there's more of a, a desire to master both realms with this situation, whereas the High Priestess is more that unconscious, emotional, intuitive realm. The Queen of Cups is that as well, but she also... Uh, gives a shit about what's going on here in this realm too, and those are around her. So I feel like again, you're you're working to strike this balance. Page of Pentacles comes in here next. I, again, I'm feeling like a component of a balance. You guys are working towards balancing something. Page of Pentacles is also taking something that is existing currently and making it better. Um, I do feel like some of you are maybe working towards improving something about your job, whether it's the way that you interact with it emotionally or what you're giving to your job emotionally in that energetic way. You may be working towards a promotion. Um, but in general, I just, I feel like you guys are working to improve something about your experience here in the material realm. Any other information here in the general for Scorpio, please? Page of Swords. <laughs> so Page of Swords is um, is the student of the deck here too. Having those pages come through here though, I feel like this is uh, the pentacles and the swords. This is not necessarily, this is not Scorpio energy. You guys are water, you know? You're that king of cup. You're working to master your suit right now. The pentacles, that's earth. The swords are air. So um and, and like I said, we do have other components of our chart and I dare you to look, but what I'm getting from this and being the, the pages in this situation is you are um, maybe starting at more of a novice level in some of these other energetic components, which is not a bad thing. Um, it's just not your forte as far as like a water sign goes. You guys are, are deep Pluto energy. You're about life and destruction. Okay. Not... <laughs> Your mastery does not lie in, um, unless you also have air in your chart, okay? Um, but your mastery does not necessarily lie in your ability to ascertain knowledge or to make physical improvements, okay? That's what this is talking about is like you're being, you're reaching mastery level and then um, you're also working on these other components of yourself to bring those up to master status too. 
You're about to bear witness of the new person that you're becoming. Okay. So the good stuff for you. Page of Cups, too. <laughs> Love this. Um, because this is uh, in your good stuff here, this is, like I said, you've got Page. You have all the cups, actually. Oh, my gosh. Page, <laughs> page Knight, King, and Queen. Damn, you guys. That's a full... It's a full ass court. <laughs> so very much. I feel like you guys are. That is one of the locks that's coming undone first. This mastery of, of the emotional realm of the intuitive realm. Lovely. So page of cups is um, can also be involved in love. Just like the knight of cups here is as far as an offer of love. Being in your anxiety, though, um, of that full offer, what I feel like is you're being requested to take a step back just before this Knight of Cups energy to the Page of Cups um, to really make sure that you are sure, I guess, and what it is that you want to pull down, what you want to make real. The Page of Cups is very much about um, taking a concept in the dream realm and pulling it down into reality. I very much feel like you have, that's a part of the fruit that's growing here. You have access to whatever it is that you want, you want to develop here, but you're being asked, like the Page of Swords here too, is, is a request to get curious. You're being asked to get a little bit more particular or a little bit more sure on what it is that you do want to create right now because you have the power to do that. So take a second, okay? Take the time to like, uh, you know, don't get frozen um, and stop yourself from moving forward, but take some time to meditate, to journal, to pay attention to your dreams, journal those too. figure out what it is that you actually want, because um, it feels very much like it's a fruitful time for you guys. <laughs> Yay. Oh, yeah. Somebody's going to be coming across some very lovely love. Two of Cups comes in here next. This is love, you guys. Yay. <laughs> This is also, um, you know, can be the dynamic of that masculine and feminine within us uh, needing to find balance. But this is finding balance. This is like um, a counterpart. OK, I was going to say other half, but I don't like saying other half because nobody's floating around as a fraction of a human soul. Um, unless you're not human, I don't know, <laughs> of a soul in general. You are a whole experience, okay? But this is a situation where uh, I do feel like there is an offer of love coming in. And you may be the one extending an offer of love. And that may be, that's kind of what I feel like you need to get clear on what it is that you are looking to experience here. And not just from, not just from a third dimensional standpoint. Like you're being asked to bear witness of your entire experience here. Energetically, spiritually, emotionally, physically, what do you want to experience? Because, I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with, you know, physical connection and, and pleasure and beauty that comes with that. That's very important. So are all of the other layers of our experience, okay? The body is just one portion of this experience. So I feel like, yeah, you're just being asked to get clear on what you guys want. Any other information here in the good stuff for Scorpio, please? Let me get with this one. Seven of Pentacles, too. Um, Queen of Swords here, too. There is a need to be honest. I just feel you guys to get clear on what it is that you want. Seven of Pentacles. This is uh, be patient. You are about to bear fruit. <laughs> be patient for your harvest is coming in. That's what the Seven of Pentacles is about. <laughs> it is also asking you to... Um, is the juice worth the squeeze is another component of this, but they're mostly what's coming through is this patience towards your harvest is about is coming in. Okay. Get clear on what you want because it's coming in. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what's hidden here, it's in the dark. You may not see five of cups comes in. Five of cups is about disappointment. So you may be, you may be um, hung up is what comes on over focus on a disappointment right now. Maybe you are ready for love. Maybe that's something. Maybe you're ready for love and it's feeling disappointing that it's not here yet. 
I feel you. Okay. <laughs> I know that human experience. 100%. Um, very similar to also like whatever this is that you're improving in your physical realm that the page of pentacles is talking about a job you're working towards, maybe you're saving up for a house or to move. There's just this feeling of like, like time sucks. <laughs> Why do things have to take so long? I was watching, I came across and I can't remember her name now either. A reader I'd never heard before just popped up on my For You page. And, um, and she was talking about how <laughs> it just felt like she was talking to me. She's like, you're one of these people. Or, yeah, you're one of these people that um, like because of where we come from, there seems to be this impatience with words like speaking. Like it takes so long to speak why can't we speak in energy is what it was saying. And I'm just like, oh, my God, <laughs> I'd say that too many times a day. It takes so long to be human. And that's frustrating. This realm is slow as shit. OK. <laughs> um, and I, <laughs> before I read, too, I, I always set protections. I, I call on my team. And there are times as I'm doing that. Oh, you guys, there are times as I'm doing that where sometimes I do get impatient and I'm like, these freaking words, <laughs> like they take so freaking long to just say, like, why? <laughs> Maybe you're experiencing this, too. It feels like like it's not a true disappointment, but you're just over it. You're ready to have something better. <laughs> it's taking too long. So the next card that comes in here in the dark, what you don't see coming, the lovers, you guys. We woo. Very much, I feel that uh, love is available for at least one of you coming through. Um, what you don't see, though, also, again, kind of back to you needing to get clear. This is also being at a crossroads. The lover is talking about that. There's a need to make a decision on which way to go. So um, Seven of Pentacles is talking about that. You guys are about to bear fruit, but you need to be you need to make a decision. And I feel like this is a part of where you may be floating energetically. Are there there are components that are, you know, one foot in here, one foot over there. Whereas it's it's nice not to have all your eggs in one basket. That is good. Um, when we're talking about manifestation, like you have to put your whole ass in the direction. If you're split into two different, you know, he loves me. He loves me not. <laughs> um, that isn't going to serve you ultimately in when we're looking at manifestation. There's a need to make a decision to get clear on what you want. Okay. So the challenge here whoop, coming through, you guys have five of swords. Um, so five of swords is conflict for conflict's sake. A hall of victory. Nobody's winning here. Um, if this is relating to a relationship for some of you, I feel like something that's happened in the past that just like left everybody bloodied and bruised. Nobody won. Everybody got triggered. It was a dance of the egos. And it left a bad taste in everybody's mouth. And this may be, um, this may be a part of the disappointment that you're struggling with in this period too, is remembering something that's happened where you fought for something that you believed in or you cared about and you were still left with, this bad taste in your mouth. I do see this was kind of coming through here too. the snake that's biting this person's leg here. Like you were experiencing this relationship, this love, and you ended up bit anyway. Yeah, that is disappointing. That does suck, you guys. In this situation in particular, I feel like that, okay, some of those locks that are needing to be unlocked right now are ones that you have placed there yourself. So hopefully you know where the key is. <laughs> if not, go buy some bolt cutters. So Page of Wands comes in here next. You guys have all the pages. <laughs> you guys are, yeah, you're ready to, you're ready to start a whole new journey. A whole new world, you guys. Whole new world, Scorpio. You know, in like you're not even gonna recognize yourself. That was that came through with Pisces, actually. Their their oracle card that they got, the threshold is what came through. And we are new moon in Pisces, like I said. 
Um, so there is this energy of like, we're at the threshold here. You are about to bear witness to what is new, but you also have to make the decision to get your whole ass <laughs> into this experience. Um, page of wands here is a need to make a plan. Okay. So move from where you may be feeling, uh, or excuse me, no, um, I was thinking two of two of wands because I was seeing their stilts there. I do feel like there is a need to, like I said, get your whole ass in here and make that plan to do so to get uncomfortable. Page of Wands is getting excited about the journey. Pardon me. Um, and I feel like that is a component of what's difficult for you here, especially with the Five of Swords. That conflict, that bad taste that was left in your mouth. Yeah, it makes sense why it might be a little bit difficult to get excited about something again. But if this is what you truly want, mastery of your emotions, if it is a relationship that you're looking for, then there is a need to take that risk. And to take that risk... Like, get your whole ass out of the plane. Like I said, you can't halfway jump out of the airplane. <laughs> You're going to have a bad time. Okay, Scorpio. And that's what this is saying to me. Like, yes, you may have been bitten. Okay. Maybe you were bitten by that snake, but you are alive also. And that's a component of the five of cups. So you may be focusing on the three that were spilled where you were bit. The two that are still here are you're still here to experience more. Remember that. You didn't die from that bite. And that's not to be dismissive about what's happened. We still have to heal things. It is the encouragement that you are also still here to try again. And you're in a time of fertility. Like I said, you're about to bear fruit. That seven of pentacles. So don't um, move your ass from that situation, okay? Okay. That's not what you're wanting to manifest. So there's a need to pull it to where it is that you want to go. Um, how does Scorpio work on this challenge, please, Spirit? I click on that one. Hierophant. Um, some of you may need to... Knight of Cups here again at the bottom. <laughs> some of you may need to... Uh, being open to romance is what's coming through. Opening the heart a little bit. And Scorpio's heart grew three times that day. <laughs> The Hierophant is about spiritual um, evolvement, evolution, taking it to the next level here. Um, for some of you, you may, you could benefit from a counselor in this way, like a spiritual counselor. Maybe you need a little bit of spiritual guidance, support, um, calling in your team as well, your higher self, your angels, guides. I like to call in um, ancient beings as well. I feel encouraged to mention that because it does feel like we're in a time now where they are stepping in a little bit more, um, which is awesome <laughs> with things that are happening right now. Um, yeah. Hierophant is also five. The five of cups, five of swords. The five is really standing out. Pisces had three fives together too. Major change, you guys. We're going through major change. Thank God. <laughs> So three pieces of advice or main messages here for Scorpio. Divine counterpart, you guys. A divine connection sent to you from the angels. <laughs> Asked to be connected. Operator. <laughs> I'm looking for my divine counterpart. Hold, please. <laughs> yes, I feel like I feel like this is coming in for somebody. Okay. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, other messages here for Scorpio, please communicate, receive and express the truth. Um, I do feel drawn to the five of cups here in that situation of disappointment. Um, are you, are you receiving what it is? Um, cause in this process of trying to, or working to master your emotion, your emotional experience to properly protect that emotional experience too, are you listening to what it is that your heart is actually saying? Or are you listening to your ego? Are you listening to your trauma? It's not that those shouldn't be listened to, but it's important to know how to discern the difference between them so that you can decide which voice you need to listen to in whatever moment, okay? Uh, denial is standing out here. Failure to accept a situation, unhealthy cycles, or addictions. That may be a part of the truth that needs to be expressed here. Moving on. Endings that bring healthy beginnings. You got to get your whole ass <laughs> into this present moment. I see that like um, on Donnie Darko where he sees that that path that goes in front of him. It's, it's like there are multiple 
uh, paths and they need to come into this present moment, like I said, so that you can move forward. Because right now they're like everywhere. <laughs> and that's, um, I see all of these locks coming into just one. So in this moment that you move on from whatever it is that needs to be moved on here. And again, you guys, I'm not saying like ignore trauma that needs to be healed or anything like that. Uh, but there is a choice. Moving on is a choice, okay? Staying in the past is a choice. You may still need to heal from something, but the choice needs to be made to heal. You see what I'm saying? I think you understand what I'm saying, Scorpio. So let's go ahead and get into your uh, animal spirit messages here. This is the wild, wild unknown animal spirit oracle, the bat. <laughs> So a uh, little bit of seeing in the dark kind of action here. The bat does use echolocation. I'm going to read this from the book. So this is an air energy. The, um, the Page of Swords was standing out to me in your general to start there. I feel like um, some of you may be, some of you may be keeping tabs on somebody, um, spying on somebody social media wise. Somebody may be spying on you. Um, Whatever the case is, it's not a point of judgment. Um, it's uh, it's a call to um, both sides here with the Queen of Cups, this idea of protection. You protecting yourself and also being aware of possibly infringing on somebody else's um, energetic boundaries, okay? Let's keep going here. The Bat, darkness letting go, <laughs> death leading to rebirth. Well, hey, hey. Before emerging, the bat waits for the sun to set and the moon to rise. In the darkness, it can see all that was invisible in the daylight hours. The bat is a master of the subtle senses, of the underlying forces that cause some things to prosper and others to fade. The bat card shows up to signify the ending of a chapter, the closing of a door. <laughs> you gotta get your ass through that door, though. <laughs> the bat comes swiftly, encouraging us to move on. <laughs> In just a few hours, a new day dawns. No more lingering in the past. Yeah. When in balance, accepts, adapts, and adjusts. When out of balance, refuses to let go and reminisces. To bring into balance, watch the sunrise. <laughs> oh, I love that, you guys. Um, so just kind of collecting all of those components of the message here. Um, I feel like that's, that is a big part of the choice for you in deciding what it is that you want. You have to make the decision to move on from something in the past. And again, it's not a switch. I'm not saying that, I'm not being dismissive about experience. I'm saying that there needs to be a very conscious effort put towards making the decision every day, every time something comes up. How do you move on is what I'm hearing. How do you do that? When something comes forward, instead of reminiscing, like the bat is talking about, instead of inviting that to come you can look into the darkness, but do not let it suck you in. Do not take that invitation to step back into that experience. Unless you are going through a process of healing and you are doing this like with a professional, whether spiritual leader, okay, the hierophant, like I said, or a counselor, there are um, situations where we do need to actually go back into that, okay? That's not what I'm talking about. Here, though, when that comes up, you remind yourself, I am choosing to move forward. This is how you do this, okay? This is how we rewire the brain. We don't give in to every single thought that comes into our brain. We are not our thoughts. We are not our brain. The reason why the brain produces thoughts, <laughs> for the most part, is because they are offerings. It's an offer of, of something to do. That's its job. So you don't have to take every offer that comes up. In fact, it's your job to decide which ones you want, which ones you don't, right, Scorpio? Right. So what do we have here? Please spirit for Scorpio as far as Oracle messages. And this is the wild unknown archetype Oracle as well. The seed, you guys bearing fruit, <laughs> your fruit, the seed, the seed. What is that? 56, 11, back down to, or no, 66, excuse me. Still remembering my Roman numerals. 
66. So six and six together uh, do definitely six, six, 11 and 66 to me represent being on the right path. So 66, the seed, the beginning, the origin, the pearl. Beginnings come in many forms. They are not always a beautiful seed placed intentionally in nourishing soil. Origin stories, like any birth story, are complex, surprising, multi-layered, and usually reveal a central image or detail that represents the fully formed being. Simply stated, the end is present in the beginning, or the entire oak tree resides with the, in the acorn. Whether you follow this imaginal, or image, yeah, imaginal, excuse me, for some reason that word looks weird, theory or not, Know that when this card appears, there's potent generative energy all around. Fruitful time, you guys, like I said. It stirs your very insides and usually results in an antsy, impatient feeling. Um, the I feel drawn to this actually real quick here. King of Cups and Queen of Cups can very much on the shadow side represent like a drama king or drama queen. Or a drama um, non-binary human. Uh, pay particular attention to what agitates you as it is a sure sign of growth to come. You are bumping up against a growth edge. It is from the grit that the pearl eventually comes to be. Um, and technically it's a parasite. Okay, you guys, that, that gets into um, forming a pearl. But anyway, I think you understand the image imagery. Um, so in light, generative, fertile, germinating, building. When in the dark, festering, stewing, and dormant. You guys, so I just feel it's very, very, I think you understand here. We're getting clear on what it is we want, where it is that you actually want to go, because you have the ability to go there. These locks open, you are about to bear fruit. You're about to bear witness to who it is you are meant to be, who it is that you want to be, who you want to be meant to be, <laughs> who, are, who you were meant to want to be, Okay. <laughs> I love you, Scorpio. I'm going to leave this here. So as far as the free reading, you can jump into the description of the video here. Um, join the Phoenix Fam newsletter. It is free to subscribe. I'm giving away a free reading once a month to active subscribers. And again, I am offering readings there. You can check out the website. I have my PayPal and Cash App links in there as well. If you do feel called to donate, thank you guys so much to those who have. It really does help this channel and um, support me in providing these readings. So I truly, truly appreciate it. And again, please like, share, comment, subscribe. It does help this channel out more than you know, and I truly appreciate it. You guys have a beautiful, beautiful period here. I will see you all very soon. Okay, bye.